Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh Shai. Barack the Yahweh Shai. Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh Shai. Barack the Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim. Ba'ashim. Raka. Raka. Kodash. Kodash. Barack means bless you, Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father. Barack bless you, Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Ba'ashim Raka Kodash in the name of the Holy Spirit. I will give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and ties this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. The sincere Akim and Akwath that's hoping to receive salvation. All right. I'm the brother Shemashiwan. This is the brother Nechemia. All right. And we're just going to start it off with uh, John 6 chapter. Come. This is John chapter 6 and verse 26. It reads, Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. That's right. The Lord said, verily, verily, which means truly, I say unto you. All right. Because um, there was Israelites that uh, fought, that deceitfully came to the Lord. All right. They came to the Lord as if they were uh, truly into the Lord. But the Lord told them, you, you seek me not because... I do miracles. They're not seeking him for, for the spiritual gifts and the spiritual blessings, what he did. It says, but because he ate of the loaves, all right? The Lord gave them food, all right? Because that, that shows you how carnal our people are, all right? How carnal Jake is, all right? Continue. It says, labor not for meat which perisheth. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, okay? The things of this world, all right? Your job, all right? When you go to your job, you work for what? You work for U.S. dollars, which is a Federal Reserve note. All right, it's nothing but an IOU. It's a vanity. All right, and if you look around the world, all right, you look at the uh, the the global economy. Okay, you can clearly see that the dollar is about to collapse. It's going to literally be of no value very soon. All right, so the Lord says, "Labor not for the meat which perishes, because soon this dollar is going to be worth nothing." All right. Can you get Zephaniah the first chapter real quick? Okay. okay. All right, get uh, Zephaniah 1 and uh, uh, 18. Okay. Yeah, this is Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's wrath. That's right. Your silver nor your gold is not going to be able to deliver you in the times to come. All right. Because the dollar is going to collapse. No one's going to honor or respect the dollar. All mm -hmm. right. And the Lord's wrath is Jacob's trouble. All right. It's the it's the calamity. It's the it's the hard times that's about to hit the whole planet Earth and chiefly Babylon, America. All right. Keep going. It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. That's right. So your gold and your silver, it perishes. All right. Mm -hmm. So go back to John 6. The Lord said, labor not for the, for the, for the meat that perishes. Okay. This is John chapter 6 and verse 27. It says, labor not for the meat which perishes, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Okay. That's right. But the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. So we're not supposed to be, uh, have our hearts, our mind fixated, fully fixated on the things of this world. All right. It's supposed to be f fully set upon the kingdom of heaven. All right. The things that we can't see. All right. The spiritual, the spiritual bread. All right. Mm -hmm. It says which endureth forever. All right. Keep going. Come on. It says, which the son of man shall give unto you for him hath the most high Yahweh the father sealed that's right so through Yahweh Shai we're able to uh, we're able to receive that meat that endureth unto everlasting life all right which is the understanding of these scriptures all right and we're supposed to labor in it we're supposed to toil in in it all right can you get uh Hebrews 4 okay. yep and that you know that meat that's the uh the doctrine you know the um the teachings that uh have been passed down unto our apostles and elders um you know from uh, by yahweh by shim yahweh shai and that have been passed on to us 
You know, that's what we um, what we're laboring in. You know. Okay. You said chapter four and eleven. Come. This is Hebrews chapter four and verse eleven. It says, let, "Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest." That's right. So, we're not laboring in this society to enter into rest. All right. Because the Lord said, "Can you get Micah two real quick?" Mm -hmm. All right. The work that we do in this society, whatever job the, the Most High might have you in, in the tenth verse. Okay. All right, it's not going to lead on to rest. Read that. Yeah, it's Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. That's right. The Lord said, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. All right, it's talking spiritually. All right, so get your mind out of uh, businesses. Oh, I'm going to own my own business. Oh, this and that. Trying to uh, labor so you can be comfortable in this society. We're never going to be comfortable until the Lord returns. Keep going. It says, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right. This society is wicked, it's evil, it's polluted, it'll destroy you with a sore destruction, all right? Because the Lord said, Woe unto you that are full now and laugh now, because you shall you shall be hungry. All right, matter of fact, get that, okay? okay. Alright, you don't want to receive your consolation. The Lord is upset with this world, all right? This 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 place is 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 an enemy with the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, get James 4 and 4. Okay. Alright, this 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 place is an enemy with the Heavenly Father. And if you join hand in hand with it, you're prospering in it. You're loving it. All right. When the Lord comes and pours upon his wrath, you're going to be caught up in it. Get that James 4 and 4. Okay. It says, ye adulterers and adulteresses. That's right. Ye, it says, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad. That's right. Friendship with the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father. All right. So you're an enemy with the Lord. All right. If, you, if you're cool with this society. Yep. If you like the way this place is going, all right? If you don't see anything wrong with America, all right? You're an enemy of the Heavenly Father. Okay. You know? Yep. Get yeah. up. Oh, no, I was just going to say, you know, because um, the philosophy of America, it, it teaches contrary to the um, to the scriptures, you know? It, it's contrary to the uh, the faith and, and belief system of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. So, you know, that means you have the... Um, Basically, you have the spirit of error if, if you if you believe in this society, you know? Come on, that's right. Get uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 24 and 25. Okay. This is Luke chapter... Uh, you said 6? Six? Six, yeah. This is Luke chapter 6 and verse 24. It says, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye hath received your consolation. That's right. Woe unto you that are rich. And that's talking about if you think that you're in a good case, all right? Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, all of Israel is in captivity. They're in slavery. Whether it be Jay-Z, LeBron James, to a, to a hobo on the street, all right? You're still a slave. You're still a nigga, all right? But if you think that you're in a good case, you think that you're rich, all right? Mm -hmm. The Lord says, woe unto you means destruction because you have received your consolation, yep. all right? And when you go on like a game show and you receive a consolation prize, that's not the grand prize, all right? Right. It's nowhere near as good of a prize as a grand prize. And in this case, the grand prize is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. All right. Immortality, everlasting life. Yeah. That's what we're laboring for. All right. We're putting off the world right now. We're not seeking after the things that we see in front of us carnally right now, but seeking after the Lord spiritually so that we can receive that grand prize, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right. Keep going. Okay. It says, woe unto you that are full. For ye shall hunger. That's right. And you're going, that's going to manifest in Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the Lord said, my servant shall eat. All right. But you're going to starve. You're going to die of the famine. All right. Because you, because you, you uh, haven't hearkened unto the words of the Lord. You're not taking his, his, his grace period seriously. You're going to be caught out there. You're going to be in star. You're going to be starving. All right. But right now you're full. You think you're in a good case. Keep going. Okay. It says, woe unto you that laugh now. For ye shall mourn and weep. That's right. Those that walk up and they laugh and they scoff and they think it's a joke when when the men of the Lord are telling you that all hell's gonna break loose on America, your family's gonna die, your children's gonna die, you you the the women of your family's gonna get raped, all right? All these devastations about to come upon the planet Earth, and you you laugh at that, when it fully comes upon you, you're gonna weep and you're gonna mourn. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You got something? Oh, no, yeah, I was just going to, you know, they, like the scriptures say, 
if you if you feel Jake right now feels that they're in a good case, you know. So if if they think that they have a whole sound mind, so if the Lord, you know, when the Lord comes back to you know destroy two thirds of our people, you know, they're gonna see that the prophets were, were really speaking, you know, the, the truth, you know, cool. and that's all, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Cool. So they can scoff and laugh all they want, you know. At the end of the day, the Lord is still, you know, gonna he's still gonna have his will. So, oh, shock! You get Revelation three, okay. verse fifteen through seventeen. All right, because the Lord said He's going to start at the house of the Lord. So what was that? Revelation the third chapter, okay. verse fifteen through seventeen. Okay. okay. All right, because there's Jake that's in this truth that are having a good old time. All right, but the Lord said in Jude that actually, matter of fact, get Jude first. Jude. Yeah. Jude, and I think start. Yeah. Verse four. Uh, verse four. Come on. This is Jude verse four. It says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our power into las lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power and our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's right. So there was two thirds that were preordained to come into this truth, mm -hmm. all right, to to receive condemnation, to be rejected, all right. Sure. It says turning the grace of our Lord into lasciviousness, all right, mm -hmm. taking this grace period which the Lord has given us, all right, and using it to to grow and and gain mm -hmm. in this society, all right. Yeah. This society, this this society is about uh, this grace period is about bearing your cross, yeah. all right. You're supposed to bear your cross. All right, and bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against the Lord. We transgress. All right, so we're not going to win on this society. We're going to take L's. All right. Now go to Revelation three. Okay. And you know that should put you in fear. You know because they said they said the Lord said there are certain men that have crept into his into his house. You know, into his unawares. tabernacle, unawares. and uh, unawares. You know. Okay. So you know you really should examine yourself. You know whether you really. Are, are sincere you know about about this gospel you know Be because you know the lord is going to have certain men uh up into the uh, the day of judgment they're going to think that they're in a good case but the lord is going to reject them you know so that's a fearful thing man very fearful brother please get second corinthians 13 and 5 bro okay so if you said second corinthians 13 and verse 5, five. Yeah. yeah this is second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5 it says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobate, reprobates. <clears throat> Come on, exactly. Examine yourself, all right? Whether you be a reprobate, all right? Mm -hmm. If if you if Yahweh Shai is not in you, all right, the Holy Spirit is not upon you, and you're not meditating upon the Lord day and night, and the Lord's not truly dealing with you, you're a reprobate. Yeah. All right? And that's not what you want to be. All right? Yeah. You can speak on that scripture too, God. Okay. And, and, and the Lord's really, he, he wants his men to, to test, you know, give themselves tests, you know, because there's certain things that in this society that you can and you can't do when you're a servant of the Lord, you know? You have to make certain sacrifices, you know, uh, certain uh, family members and people of this world they're just going to hate you, you know, because of the, of the decisions that you make. All right. And and that's a good thing. All right. We're supposed to be hated in the society. Okay. You know, hey, go back to Luke six. Look at what you said, bro. Okay. Luke six. And just start up. Uh, like, okay. 20, I think. You're supposed to be hated, like the brother said. Yeah. Just start. Um. Yeah, start at 20. Okay. Yeah, this is Luke chapter 6 and verse 20. It says, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of Yahweh. Exactly. All right. Blessed are ye poor. All right. Because um, there's some brothers that in the eyes of the world, they, they would say, oh, he's not poor. Mm -hmm. You know, but really we are poor. Okay. Yep. 
We're, 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 we're in captivity right now, yeah. all right? The, these Edomites that, that are walking amongst us, the wicked is so evil, he put his own people in slavery. Yeah. All right, they're poor too. They're in poverty too, Yep. okay? But you got to understand that, all right? And know in your heart that you're poor. The Lord says, I know, I know like uh, poverty and tribulation, but thou art rich. Rich with what? Faith, yeah. all right? So bless are the poor because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Keep going. It says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. That's right. Yep. And and, and that's part of um affliction, you know. Uh, you know, the Lord afflicts us now so that we can receive um, you know, receive the re a reward of the kingdom later. Okay. You know? Exactly. Yep. Get um go back, get Revelation three real quick, read through that though. 15 to 17. Revelation 3, 15. Come on, this is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. That's right. That's to the uh, lukewarm, all right? The Lord said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, all right? You're not on fire for this thing, but you're not in the world, all right? You're just going through the motions. You're lukewarm. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, I'd rather you be, uh, uh, he said, I'd rather you be cold, mm -hmm. right, or hot. Right. But since you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out of his mouth. Yeah. You're going to get kicked out. Yep. You're going to get casted out of the grace of the Lord. You're going to be... You're going to die. Yeah. All right? Keep going. Verse, you want to say something about it? Oh, no, no. Verse 17. Yeah, come on. This is verse 17. And this is why you... This is this is ultimately the reason why someone would be lukewarm. All right? Verse 17. It says, Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have no need of... And have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. That's right. You think that you're in a good case. You don't know that you're wretched, poor, miserable, and naked. All right? Okay. You might have a, a quote-unquote six-figure job or whatever. You think you're in a good case. But you're poor. Yeah. All right? You're, you're catching all types of hell. And because you're a fool, you don't understand and recognize that. All right? You're lukewarm in this truth. You're not laboring. All right? And the Lord spews you out. All right? Yeah. kicks you out. Yeah. Can you get um, Galatians 6? Eight. Yeah. Galatians 6 Come on, this is Galatians chapter 6 And verse 8 It says, for he that uh, Verse 9, verse nine. Come on. This is verse 9 It says, and let us not be weary And well doing That's right, let us not be weary And well doing, alright And what is well doing, what is pleasing unto the Lord Fasting, praying all right, because the scriptures always talks about praying and fasting. Mm -hmm. So always constantly pray and fast. Uh -huh. All right, and the scriptures talk about um, study to show thyself approved. All right, uh, rightly dividing the work of truth. So studying the, the scriptures, dealing with Akim, not forsaking the brotherhood. Uh -huh. All right, that, that's, that's, don't be weary and well-doing, all right? right? A brother might be catching hell, all right, and, you, and you're putting forth your best effort to comfort that brother. All right, while he's going through his hell. All right, that's well doing. That's pleasing unto the Heavenly Father because the two greatest commandments to the Heavenly Father is what? To seek the Most High with all that heart, mind, and soul, and what? To love thy neighbor as thyself. All right, so you're getting a blessing from the Heavenly Father when you love, when you, when you, he, when you show him that you love your brother like yourself. Huh. That's the more, that's more, that's very important. Huh. All right, keep going. It says in verse. Just read it over. Yeah, come on, verse 9. Galatians 6 and verse 9. It says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. That's right. In due season we shall reap if we faint not. All right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, if, 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 we, if we endure unto the end, the Lord is going to what? He's going to sit us upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. We're going to be rulers over the new kingdom. All right? The new heaven and earth with, where, where righteousness dwell. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was yep, and like like you said, you said brotherly love, you know. So we can't be faint or be weary, or you know, get tired of supporting 
you know, or uh, helping uplift our brother in the spirit, you know, because that's what the how about Shimmy how shy loves to see. OK, and we also can't be uh, we weary and and, um, and 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 lack in, in our prophesying. You know, we have to go out and procre proclaim the return of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, you know, in, in the kingdom of Yahweh, you know. Cool. That's what we have to do until until the, the day that America is destroyed. Cool. And that's a good point, too, because the Lord said, what? If you love me, feed my lambs. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the ultimate forms of showing love to the elect is pushing out this word. All right. Because there's brothers out there that's part of the elect that haven't heard of this sweet honey. All right. Huh. And you remember how you felt when you first heard this word, how excited you were, how happy you were, right. how joyful you were. All right. Huh. And every day you labor in this in this word, you study so you can actually push it out to a hopeful to a to the elect. All right. That's showing love. Right. All right. And you're going to be you're going to be blessed for that. All right. Yeah. You're going the Lord's going to give you the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. You get uh, first Corinthians 15 and 58. Come on, this is uh first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah, you know. So the Lord is speaking to uh it says the beloved brethren. So he's he's speaking unto his elect chosen men all right he said be like, make a point. Yeah, come on. beloved brother you mm -hmm. know another thing to realize when you see beloved mm -hmm. king david's name in the hebrew was dawada which means beloved okay. and the lord says he's raising up the house of david that's right all right so when those scriptures say beloved he's talking about the elect the house of david whom the lord is raising up in these last days with okay. the holy spirit the understanding of these scriptures keep okay. going brother yeah that's right you know and and the lord is he just wants us to be constantly uh, indulging in the word you know as much as we can you know in, in our daily lives because at the end of the day our labor is gonna is gonna be um you know it's gonna receive us in a, a reward all right cool. you know yahweh shy he spake of of um the crown the crown of immortality that he's gonna give to his men you know that that can endure you know cool. Cool. Yeah. And, and that's a, that's the ultimate reward Absolutely. Uh, can you get Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35? Okay. It's Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. It says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Confidence, calm meaning with, for then it's going back to fide, meaning faith, or your faith, because it takes faith to labor, mm -hmm. all right? Unless you believe that the Lord is you're not going to labor. The scriptures say, he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Matter of fact, grab it real quick. Hebrews 11 and 6. Okay. It's always good to just get it. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. And you have to have faith to be in this truth. You have to have faith to do the work of the Lord all the way until the end. Keep going. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that dil that diligently seek him that's right the lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so go back to hebrews 10 verse 35 this is hebrews 10 and 35 cast not therefore your confidence which hath great recompense of reward that's right cast not away your confidence or your faith all right, which have a great recompense of reward. All right, recompense means payback. The Lord's going to pay you a huge check, so to speak. All right, mm -hmm. yeah, a great recompense of a reward. All right, yeah. the reward that the men of the Lord are going to receive is something we can't fathom, we can't comprehend, and in, in these weak vessels, right. these these uh, feeble minds, we can't understand remotely what the Lord is going to do for us. If we just keep, hold fast until he come, yeah, yep. that's all. Yeah, and like you, like you just had said, you know, we're gonna cash in sooner rather than later, cool. and and that's the uh, like the scriptures say, the patience and the faith 
of the saints. That's right. You know, our through our suffering and, and through our affliction, you know, that's how we increase in our faith in the Lord. Cool. You know? Yep. Uh, get on um, Hebrews, go over to Hebrews 12, okay. verse 11. All right, like the brother said, through our suffering, through the trials and tribulation that we go through, mm -hmm. that's how we're uh, growing in the spirit. Okay. And growing in the spirit is going to what? It's going to, we're going to get a beautiful reward for it. Okay. The, the scriptures say, get John 6 real quick and then go to Hebrews 12. John 6, verse 63. Okay. John 6, verse 63. All right. This is John chapter 6 and verse 63. It, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's right. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit is what makes you alive. The right. flesh is prof, profiteth nothing. All right. So our flesh, though our outward, outward body, matter of fact, get uh, 2 Corinthians 4 chapter. All right. So though we catch hell in the society. Yep. Our, our, our body is catching that we might get sick we might have bodily ailments or we might lose our job we might lose our women mm -hmm. all right we're, we're in sadness we're in pain our spirit our inward man is growing getting spiritual blessings okay. all right mm -hmm. and it's gonna pay in the end all right okay. when, we're, when we're stable when all hell is breaking when pe millions of people are dying all right we're gonna praise the lord for putting us through what he's been putting us through right now in this grace period uh, uh the last two verses Last two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is uh Second Corinthians chapter four. No, no, verse six, six, start sixteen. Oh, 16. Come, on. second Second Corinthians chapter four and verse sixteen. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. That's right. The outward man perish. All right. Our our our, our outward bodies is is being destroyed. The Lord said, all right. If he if he didn't shorten these days, no flesh would be saved. So, okay. even if you know you might be a young man and you're like, oh, your body is strong, just breathing this air is destroying your body. Mm -hmm. Eating this food is is destroying your body. Okay. Sitting in these cars is destroying your body. Yep. All right. So every second of the day, our body is, is being destroyed. All right. Mm -hmm. It says, but our inward man is being renewed. Okay. Yeah. Right, although we're catching all this hell, the Lord is purifying us, making us like that gold refining us like silver all right keep going okay it says verse 17 actually matter of fact get hebrews 12 and 11 and then jump back to that hebrews, 12 and 11. Okay. This is hebrews chapter 12 and verse 11 now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous that's right no chastening of the present seemeth to be joyous so though we're catching all hell all this hell in the flesh and we hate it it's very grievous all right, it's not joyous. So keep reading. It says, Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. It says, Afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruits of righteousness uh, that is by them that is exercised thereby. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. So what? You, 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 you grow in the spirit. All right? Oh. You grow in humility. All right? Uh, you you uh, grow in virtue, you grow in fear of the Lord, you grow in diligence. Okay. All right, and ultimately you're gonna be a, a man of the Lord, ruling in the kingdom to come. Yeah, you know. Okay. Keep, uh, get uh, Second Corinthians four. Finish that up. Okay. Four and seventeen and eighteen. Yep. This is Second Corinthians chapter four, and verse seventeen. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. That's right. Our light affliction is but for a moment. The scriptures say, though it tarry, wait for it. All right? Yeah. Though right now the Lord got it where it seems like, you know, we're catching hell and it's never going to end. All right? That's a lie. All right? The scriptures say, the vision is written for a point in time, but it shall speak and not lie. All right? So this is a short period of time. This is a short a time frame where we're going to be catching hell. Yeah. The Lord is a merciful power. When he actually puts us in the kingdom of heaven, boom, yeah. we're going to be resting forever. Yeah. That's why we're going to look back at this and, and really be like, Lord, we could do it again. You know, right now we're like, oh, hell ass no. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Never want to experience again. But we're going to be in such a good case. And the key we'll be like, we're going to think to ourselves, like, that was nothing. Yeah. I would do it a million times again just to be <laughs> where I am right now. God. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Keep going. Yeah, and I was going to make a quick point. You know, uh, I was speaking to a brother uh, today earlier. You know, and he was just saying like, man, I don't I don't want to grow old in this in this captivity, you know, in this kingdom. And I was just like, you know, well, there's certain herbs and we've been given certain knowledge of, of the earth, you know, to, uh, you know, preserve ourselves. But then I had to catch myself, you know, because we can't continue to live in this in America. You know, we have to we, we have to be delivered at some point soon because we, we just wouldn't we wouldn't be able to uh, continue to survive in this place, you know. Bro, 20 year olds are dropping dead from heart attacks. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Man. No flesh would be saved. Yeah. It's bad. You know what I'm saying? There's no it's time bad. frame, but there can't be another five years. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. How's there going to be another five years? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young man. I, I don't feel like I'm going to make it another five years. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. this place crazy. is done, bro. It's crazy. God. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, this is verse uh, verse seventeen again. It says, "For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen." That's right. It worketh a far more exceeding weight of glory. You just gotta mm -hmm. keep that in your mind. Huh. All right. We there's no glory in the society. No. The the highest esteemed person, LeBron. Are you the, look, LeBron so called has glory in the society, but he still has Edomite spraying nigger on his house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he still has people mocking him, calling. He still has a a white Edomite fan calling him a pussy bitch ass nigga to his face. <laughs> What type of what type uh, of glory is hey, that? Yeah, hey, uh, 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 a Shedomite at that. A Shedomite, a, a so called white woman. <laughs> bro, in the kingdom of heaven, Edomite's gonna know immediately. Lick the foot off my dust. That's right. Uh, lick the dust off my foot. That's all right. right? Oh. And stand up to get slain by the sword. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God. That's true glory. Yep. God. You know? Yep. Keep going. Read the last verse. Is verse 18. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen. That's right. We're not look Right now, we're not killing Edomites. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we're not looking at that. Keep going. Yeah. It says, but at the things which are not seen. But we're look, we're envisioning in our head killing crackers all the day long. Yep. yep. All right? We're yep. fantasizing about killing Edomites all day. All right? Yep. We're fantasizing about having millions of concubines of all different nations. Yep. All right? We don't have that right now. Nope. We don't, we're, we're in poverty. We're in debt. We owe Esau money. All right? At any moment, Esau could come after us, yeah. all right, for a whole bunch of bull crap, all yeah. right. But yeah. we're not looking at the the, the the what's in front of us. Right. We've forsaken that. Yeah. Oh. Keep going. It says, "For the things which are seen are temporal." The things that are seen are temporal. That's right. All right. You being a nigga in the sight of these people in America is temporary. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, the, 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 you know the scripture. Um, if you know it, but it says the the fashion of yeah. this world fadeth away. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. you know the the fashion of being a nigga in America, that's gonna fade away. You know that's that's not gonna that you, you can't take that that uh that nigga uh, uh philosophy into the kingdom of heaven. You know that, that that's gonna fade away. You know once the Lord comes back. Come on. Keep going reading that. Come on. It says. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The things that are not seen are eternal, bro. You can speak on that. If you want. Con, you know, the, the things, what are the, the eternal things? That's, you know, uh, having uh, multiple, you know, having chariots, you know, having, uh, uh, you know, a land, a gold, you know, it, true, true possessions, you know. Having children, as far as the eye can see, the yeah. Lord said. Children is a heritage of the Lord, yeah, right? Yeah, You know? 
Just, hey. You know, immortal, immor- just being an, an immortal, you know? Knowing, <laughs> that you, knowing you're never going to die. You're right, exactly. Man. Knowing that you, you're never going to feel pain again. Come on, man. Knowing that you're come never going to... Cr- knowing that a, a, a tear will never come... The Lord says he's going to wipe tears from our eyes. We're never going to be in a sorrowful state. Bro. Ever again. Come on, man. What, what, else, what else better can you hope for, man? Hey, every day in this society is sorrowful, bro. Kind. You know what I'm saying? When you get around these people and shit, you got to try to wipe away your tears and put on a facade and shit. Yeah. But every fucking day is misery yeah. in this fucking society, bro. Yep. So that's why we're hoping to get the, get out of this place, Con. bro. Yeah. Get, for, get the, the scripture that you quoted. I looked it up. Mm-hmm. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 31. It says, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. You know, and 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 that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're while we're here, while we're in the world, you know, we use the world to benefit, you know, um, Akim, our our brothers, and to benefit ourselves as well, you know, which is the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. But at the end of the day, we know that uh, captivity. You know, uh, working under uh, these so-called white people, the Edomites, that that fashion is going to pass away. You know, that's going to pass pass away very soon. You know, when our Lord uh, returns, okay, and He's going to enslave, uh, you know, these so-called white people, these Edomites. You know, and, and and that's that's the the new rulership, the new world to come. Come on, it's beautiful, brother. Uh, you just made me think of Isaiah, Isaiah sixty. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the hope, you know? This is what the scriptures, uh, before you get that bubble show, mm-hmm. get John 16, all right? Okay. This is this is therapeutic, okay. all right? Every day, you're walking up and down the street, mourning. Yeah. People looking at you like, what's wrong with you? I'm a, I'm a slave. What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I got, I just saw three homosexuals, and I couldn't put them to death. Right. All right? I just saw... 15 women walk out butt ass naked. Right. Keep, 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 keep read John 16. Okay. Uh, last verse of the show. Okay. Yeah, this is John chapter 16 and verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. That's right. In the Lord we might have peace. And the Lord's spirit is here through his word. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So when we meditate and we speak about these scriptures, when we're with Akim speaking about scriptures, that's when we have peace for a brief moment. Yep. All right, that's when we get comfort. The Lord said, "I'm going to send a comforter." All right. Yep. Can you get uh? Oh, this that's John 16, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Keep going. It says, "In the world, ye shall have tribulation." In the world, you shall have tribulation. That's why we wake up in the morning, we catch hell. Mm-hmm. All right. We go to sleep at night, we catch hell on our dreams. Yep. All right. Yep. It's a constant catching hell, catching hell, catching hell. Yeah. Keep going. It says, <clears throat> In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's right. But the Lord said, be of good cheer. Because our Lord, Yahweh Shai, has overcome the world. All right? The Lord already been through what we've gone through worse mm. and overcame it. Now he's sitting on the right side of the throne of the Heavenly Father. Okay. You know? Not and, and, and you know what I'm saying, and soon we're gonna be able to put these homosexuals to death, man. Okay. You know yep. what I'm saying, but right now we can't. Right. All right. Soon we're gonna have these Edomites in slavery, mm-hmm. but right now we can't. But we can, we can, we can hear the Lord tell us it yeah. by reading the scriptures yep. and get comfort and hope. Mm-hmm. Can you get Isaiah 60? Because I was just one of my, you know, it was a beautiful scripture. Verse 15. Isaiah 60, the Isaiah the 60th chapter pretty much is the kingdom of heaven. You know? Okay. The 15th verse. This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 15. It says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated. That's right. The nation of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, descent, are right, you have been forsaken and hated. All right? The whole world hates you. And does not give a fuck about you. Excuse my Swahili. If I offended you, Salaki. All right? <laughs> All right, but the whole world doesn't care about you as a people. 
They don't care about your well-being. They don't care about how you're doing. All, right. all they want to see is your downfall. Yeah. All right? Yep. The Lord said, whereas you have been forsaken and hated. Can you keep reading? It says, so that no man went through thee. So that no man went through thee. All right? These other nations don't care about you. No. They're not going to lend out a hand and help you out. All right? They see you down. They're going to trot over you. They're going to keep you down. Right. They're going to spit at, spit on you, piss on you, and laugh. And drink some uh, strong drink to your downfall. All right? all right? That's why the Heavenly Father is righteous. All right? That's why we're going to actually do that forever. All right? Mm -hmm. We're going to constantly be drinking and then... And banging, taking the the women of the other nation okay. against the men, against the men's will, yep. all right, yep. against the women's will, okay. and laugh. We're gonna take their babies and we're gonna destroy them. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. It says, "I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations." Hey, and at the same time, these nations are gonna worship us in sincerity and truth. Okay. They're going to be happy that we're ruling over them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. All right. The Lord said, when the righteous in authority, the people rejoice. So though we're taking their women, all right, though we're taking a rod of iron and bashing their head, okay. all right, they're still going to be living longer than what they did in Esau's kingdom. Yep. They're still going to be able to see the beauty, the majesty of the Lord, all right, the, his creation, the beautiful trees, okay. the beautiful flowers, the beautiful animals, all right, everything working harmoniously. They're still going to be able to bear witness to it. Right. All right, that's why it says we're going to be a, a, a joy from many, a eternal excellency, a joy from many generations. All right, yep. this is what we're waiting for right now. We're a curse. All right, people look at us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as the scum of the earth, the problem of the whole earth. When the problem of the whole earth is the is the Edomites, the people that are in rulership. Okay, mm -hmm. but soon that's going to be flipped. All right, and the whole world is going to know that the reason why the world is flourishing the way it is. It's because the Israelites are in power under the spirit and power under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yep. Can you get Exodus 20? Because uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to just get the Hebrew on this and the end on this. Okay. At the end of the day, we just got to keep in mind, we got to keep laboring. We got to keep seeking after the Lord so we can actually inherit the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And we can't faint. We just got to keep doing this, keep pushing until the end. All okay. right. That's so, right. Exodus 20, verse 9. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 9. It says, Six days thou slaki. It says, Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Come on, that's right. Six days shalt thou labor, all right? Uh, I just want to get the Hebrew for labor. So can you go on that real quick? Okay. Right now we're laboring, all right? It says, Strong's H5647. It says, it Say the three characters, right? Come there. It says, it's an I, a Ba, and a Da. Come on. So, uh, I, I Bad. I Bad, come, come on. It says, to work, serve. To labor, do work. That's right, all right? So, the Hebrew word for uh, for labor is, is, is servant or, mm -hmm. or, or slave or worker, right. all right? I Bad. Come on. All right? Yep. You got any finishing words? Oh, no, that's pretty much it. Come on. All right, so that we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Racha Kadash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and who has taught us His truth. We want to give peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. All right, that's laboring to enter into that rest. Okay. All right, a shalom. Shalom.